Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today I'm going to show you how to find your GPUs in your Hive OS rig because the naming convention doesn't seem to make sense with my rig for sure. So I went ahead and I put my GPUs. The first GPU is in slot one, second GPU is in slot two, and I went right on down the board. Now I've got eight total slots, but only seven are enabled right now because the CPU that I have only allows seven. So I went ahead and got a USB splitter and I've got three uh, cards on that one. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And you can see that it doesn't simply line up because when you look here, what I thought was GPU, the first GPU, which they call GPU zero, was in slot one. The second one was in slot two. The third one was in slot three and so on. But that doesn't seem to be the case because right here it says that I have slot nine and I know I don't have a ninth slot. So I know right off the bat that that is incorrect. You can see the ones that have the USB splitter down here. So I'm trying to better figure out what the convention, what, what numbering convention is being used because I put them straight across, but it is not reporting that way in Hive. So how do I find out which card is which one on the rig? Uh, well, I'd like to thank D who uh, commented when I put a video troubleshooting my low hash rate RTX 3060 rig. He went ahead and wrote some comments in here, and one of them was a command you can use, gpu-fans-find. And with this one, you can go ahead and start spinning the fans on one GPU at a time, and it'll go down the line and show you which one is one, then number two will spin, then number three, and then you can write that down and compare it to what you have in Hive and better understand where your cards are. So D, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I appreciate all the comments that you leave. Any little tidbits or any ideas that you may have, I love to see them down below. It really helps out with the community at large and it helps me. So, and of course, if you want to give me a thumbs up, that definitely helps me and the channel. So feel free to punch that button for me. Let's go ahead and start looking at this. First things first. We're going to go over here to the little uh, pickaxe, the minor actions, click on that. And we're going to click stop minor. Now I'm going to get an error for mine because I already clicked this just a moment ago before I started the video. I should have waited, but you just click stop minor and then I'm going to get an error. Yours will stop the minor. What it's doing, it's putting it into a neutral state. The miner is still running. It's just not mining anything and the fans are probably going to be shutting off. There's my error because I've already got it stopped. The next thing you want to do is come over here. Now, he mentioned in the comment that you could do this in the Hive shell, but you could also do it more simply right here in the run command. You're going to scroll down and you can see right here under the useful commands is GPU-Fans-Find. Simply click on that once and scroll back up. You can see it puts it in the line right here. And then before you do it, you'll click run. But before you do that, make sure you're close enough to the rig because you're going to have to go over to it to watch which fans are spinning. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to click run, and I'm going to go over there with the camera, and I'm going to show you what I see, and then write down my numbers, and then come back over here and compare them to what I thought I was, to what I actually am. So let me go ahead and pause it, click run, and then I'll bring you over there. I'll be right back. All right, so here we are, and you can see the GPUs have all stopped spinning, and now we've got one spinning. So technically, that one right there is GPU zero which I thought it was over here, but it's not. It is definitely over there. I suspected it might be over there, creating an airflow with a problem of exhaust, but nonetheless, there it is right there. Now, what it's gonna do, you can see the fans starting to slow down a little bit. Let's watch the rig and see where the second card turns on. This will be GPU number two, and there it is right there. You can see that one spinning right there. So there's GPU two. Now. I have these plugged into the motherboard completely different. Now we can see over here, this one here is GPU 3. Um, excuse me, that technically would be 0, then 1, then 2. Now I'm writing these down on a piece of paper as I'm doing these. And that one's slowing down. And we've got another winner over here. So we are on 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm saying it backwards because it's really 0, 1, 2, 3. So now we're gonna wait. Okay, now this one's spinning and you can see that one's slowing down. Now don't be confused when you see two fans, uh, two cards spinning with their fans. One of them's just shutting down while the other one's starting up. So here we are here, all right, and let's watch. All right, here's our next one. So you'll see this one's gonna slow down and we can see that one over here is spinning. So this one here is just shutting down. Okay, it's off. Here's the next one. So let me just jot that one down. And let's see. All right, 
So that one there just started spinning up. You can see that one. And now this one here is going to stop. And now we've got that one spinning. And is that the last one? Or no, I've got one more. So let's see. There he is. Right there. So that should be GPU 7, technically. And that one over there, you can see it's stopping. And now I got this one spinning. And now this one should stop spinning in a second. And it should just go dormant again. So let's just let that stop. All right. Well, maybe it's not going to go dormant. Everything's spinning now. Um, and there you go. Let's go ahead and hop over to the computer and check our notes. All right, well, we're back and I've got my paper. I did a little crude drawing on the computer real quick just so you can see it a little easier. I'm gonna drag that over and here it is. This is what I thought I had lined up in my rig. The uh, first card being on this side and the eighth card being on this side. I couldn't be further from the, uh, the, the truth. Uh, the first card is on this side and if you look, most of them are really confused. Now, I did start to think that the first card was on this side. Below where the two exhaust fans are, I felt that there was maybe a uh, turbulence underneath the wire uh, shelving in this negative area where there's nothing in there or underneath it. And it was creating this weird airflow and that might've been causing a problem. But that would have only made sense if GPU-6 was over there as well because GPU-6 was giving me some heat issues, always ran just a little bit warmer as well. Well, now it makes a lot more sense. Before I was saying, well, if number seven is way over here and then number six, that doesn't make sense because I'm having heat issues here from what I thought and heat issues here from what I thought. Well, it turns out both of those cards that are the heat issue are actually right next to each other on the far side and it's underneath this fan that I feel that there's that negative space and it may be creating a, a, an awkward airflow. So that's something I'm going to start looking into and trying to solve that. I thought about just sort of putting a piece of wood in there to close off that bottom part. So the only thing at that end of the uh, grow tent would be the two exhaust fans on the top of the shelf and below that would be basically closed off. So the air would maybe be a little cleaner as, as flowing goes, uh, if that makes sense. But nonetheless, it definitely um, opens my eyes to where my cards are. Uh, shows me which ones are my um, uh, USB uh, splitter, 5, 6, and 7, which is really uh, down here, uh, 5, 6, and 7. So anyway, this definitely makes things a little bit easier for me to pinpoint where my heat issues might be or problems with cards. If this video helped, definitely throw me a thumbs up. It really means a lot. If you haven't subscribed, you can hit the button over there. And if you want to watch any of my other videos on Hive, I think I'll put one right up over there, uh, maybe about uh, updating your uh, drivers. That one seems to be pretty popular. So, or rolling them back. Anyway, I appreciate y'all checking in. I hope this helped. I'll see y'all next time.